into your April 2020. This is going to be the What Aren't They Telling You for the beautiful sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to be examining what your partner could, well, maybe what they didn't tell you from the time frame of the 19th through the 25th, which just ended. Um, so if you have an issue with me reading the energy that's already passed, then maybe this isn't the video for you. Um, I invite you to go and find someone else, um, that possibly fits your timeline better for everyone else that knows how we do these videos. Let's keep rocking five card reading. We're going to be, all of the cards are below. I will announce a couple just so you know that, um, we will be getting the main energies as right now. Um, you can find out the cards that I'm using below. I'm sorry, but we will be getting the card to find out, uh, what influenced your partner's energy with the one spirit, when spirit speaks Oracle. Okay. What we do is, is we see what comes out. And then when I put that deck down, whatever's, whatever energy is reflected upon the top, we've been taking that as well. Okay. Um, then we will. Clarify each one of the five cards with the Romance Angel Oracle card. And then we will also clarify each one of those cards with the Hidden Truth Oracle. If at any time I'm reading these energies and I get a soulmate card from the Romance Angel Oracle or a call it in your soulmate, I will introduce another deck called the sacred soulmates and i will clarify that soulmate card okay all right show me spirit what could have affected gemini's partner from the week of the 19th through the 25th all right guys so while i'm shuffling this is that time where i'm going to tell you about the promotion um or the contest I am running a contest as a two-year anniversary thank you, okay? I launched in May of 2018, um, and it's been beautiful, okay? Um, and normally what I do is giveaways because there's a lot of people that want readings and they can't do it for whatever reason. I'm booked up. Um, people try to catch me on the 11-11 special, can't get through. Now we're in the middle of a pandemic. Money is scarce. So I'm giving away 12 free readings. If you fall in any of those categories, okay. If you fall in any of those categories, then go ahead. The link to um, the promo is below, okay? It's below. All right. Show me spirit. Gemini and their partner. Okay. Ooh, yes. Yes, we have lessons. Ooh. And we also have envision. Beautiful card. Beautiful card. All right. There's a few housekeeping rules, guys, that I want you to be aware of in the contest. You cannot be a current client of mine. You can't have already had a, a reading that you paid for. This is strictly for new people. If you are one of those individuals where you want to get a new a reading and you've been trying, this is your opportunity, okay? Keep in mind, um, there are a couple of things that you can do to unlock your winning potential. If you have Twitter, if you have Facebook, if you have... Um, if you have Twitter, if you have Facebook, if you have Instagram, and I, did I add Pinterest? I added my social media links on there, guys. I would advise that if you are really interested in winning that free time with me, you can go ahead and do those extra things to lock, and it's going to give you points. And then when I choose, I'm going to filter and, and pick randomly, okay? So good luck, and I look forward to meeting you, members. You are disqualified because you are a member and you already get discounts on readings and all of this free stuff. Plus, we're going to start, you know, members. I'll talk to you guys. But no, no current clients, no members. All right. No 11-11 recipients. All right. By the way, that, that link and portal will be opening on the 4th 
Let's go. Show me, spirit. Lessons and envisions. First card out is the world. Okay. Show me, spirit. Second card out is the fool. Now, when I was in your pre-shuffle energy, Gemini, somebody is saying that they... Well, I got a couple of cards from different decks. First, one was the Ace of Cups. One was, um, this could be the one. My, my, uh, one of them was, I love you unconditionally. So someone is trying to talk to you. Show me spirit. Um, right now I see cycles that are ending. And within those cycles, I do see a need to want to take a new, to want to take a leap of faith into something that has been decided upon on this path. Um, again, guys, if you're new, I spend time with the, with the cards independent of the romance angels, because to me, that's general energy. And a lot of these cards obviously can apply to anything that you're going to through. When I get the actual romance in there, then it kind of changes it a little bit. So if you are catching this and you're a Gemini single, um, yourself and you're catching it and you want to know what someone, what, what you possibly didn't tell somebody, cause it's, you know, um, then this is the part where it's kind of for you by yourself. Then we have nine of swords. Um, so Gemini, the person that you're connecting with is, is feeling like cycle loops are ending, or this could be what you're going through in your life right now. All right. It looks like there's a decision that needs to be made. You're up at night pondering about something, losing sleep over a decision. Um, it's the end of a relationship or the possible end of a relationship, but it's a deep spiritual connected relationship. So now you have to figure out what you're going to do. Interestingly enough, remember you got lessons. That's interesting here because there are some lessons that you definitely learned within the energy of the world card. When we start talking about taking the leap of faith, when we know that we have to do something that we probably are, you know, we're, we're approaching what we have to do a bit cautiously um, with some trepidation, the fool card can really speak to how you might need to take a risk to do it anyway. Um, because you'll be going along your path and you won't have all of the answers that you need. You won't even have all of the, the beverages, the, the liquid that you need. Glass, half. Of what you choose, full or empty, you still won't have it all. So are you going to move forward? But when we talk about envision and we put these together, to me that speaks volumes to the fact that the lessons that we've learned the hard way is when we talk about an envision type of energy, we're talking about the future, okay? Imagine as a future possibility. You have envisioned this person or this situation going one way you didn't think it was going to go possibly, okay? Let's think about that before we get the, the romance um, all intertwined in this. Um, so from a general perspective, you know, this could apply to anything. I do see strong connotations of a love situation, but those four of cups can just necessarily be you realizing that you have to do the exact same thing. Lovers talks about people, but as an energy, I mean, think about it. We can, we can say um, we could take the energy of the lovers. You could be deeply spiritually connected without intimacy to a lot, right? Um, but I do like to think of that in a love reading, obviously, as pertaining to people. Um, but you know, when we talk about love and sex, obviously we're talking about the lovers. Okay. It represents a lot of things though. Okay. Um, it's the highest form of, um, a very powerful union in this highest form. Okay. Um, and if you see, typically there is an angel that is blessing in the, in the traditional right of weight. There's an angel that is blessing the union, the bond. And this particular cup, uh, card is not like that. Look at that. Looks like it's a little bit different. Wow, that's interesting. That's interesting. 
This is a decision about a relationship, I feel, though. Um, this is a, a, a lot of the times what I feel like this energy is saying, Gemini, and we're at that mark, so we're going to start getting these romance angels. But there is a moral crossroads. You're at a crossroads right now. And you have to make a decision, and that decision is making you sick in the Nine of Swords. Um, this is for this right here is for you or the cross watcher because the first five cards represents general energy. Um, now we're going to make it about your partner and, and introduce the romance. So if you are a Gemini single and you catch it, you can still watch it. All right. So the world, healing family issues. Okay, that makes sense. Forgiving your parents. Clarify the fool. There are some issues that are being healed now. Let go of control issues. Classic for the fool. There's someone here that's trying to control the narrative. They feel like you are. <laughs> Gemini. Your partner is coming through with worth waiting for, which is clarifying my nine of swords. Um, and that is what they are having an issue with, Gemini. Whether to you know, let go of this, a, 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 a large part of their um, anxiety around this relationship, Gemini, with you has a lot to do with being patient and trusting divine timing. Um, and right now, there seems to be some issues with you guys. Was that work on your partnership? No. Um, differences. So right now, with the Four of Cups being clarified as religious factors, there are some profound differences between you guys, and these differences has caused a major rift. Now, for some of you guys, again, it is spiritual. Thank you for allowing me to sip. Some of you guys, it's definitely spiritual. It's a difference of religions. It could have been and has a lot to do with how you were raised because of uh, family uh, issues is here. Um there could be some intervening of family members as well. Clarify the lovers. Um, okay, thank you. Keep an open mind. Someone, they're trying to be hopeful. And they know that this is over. I can't wait to clarify this. Top of the deck energy is the hangman. Upside down enlightenment as it pertains to loving yourself first. So this person disconnected or feel like maybe you disconnected to put yourself first. Okay, let's go ahead and get the hidden truth. Um, there is a strong, a strong Gemini interference here. Now, I see these swords, but I feel, although I don't see, the lessons that you guys have learned from the stopping and starting in this relationship doesn't match what someone envisioned for you two. And that was someone possibly trying to control the narrative. You speak through, to me through music. You guys shared a lot of time together as a family mingling your families gemini there are some children involved in this possibly clarify the fool and let go of control issues um someone also is trying to envision how they look alone for the future just being near you is intoxicating um that's clarifying the let go of control issues there is a strong sexual chemistry here very very strong clarify worth waiting and the nine of swords is clarified by I want you, I told you. There is a very, very strong sexual chemistry. And there is a need to want to control the relationship because of the sex. You can't do that. Um, the differences with this four of cups, I hide behind material things. So yes, this person is definitely looking at or looking at you this way. I haven't really decided which way it's falling yet, Gemini. Hold on. Two cards came out. This person is acknowledging that they messed up everything. So, yep. So now I'm telling you, keep an open mind and the lovers. It was my fault, but I blamed you. 
So they're taking secretly the blame. You don't know that. Finding out the truth crushed me. Um, you could have possibly took matters into your own hands to get underneath this um, this debilitating uh, situation, uh, Gemini. I'm just going to let you know that some of you guys are crossing with a Virgo because I feel like Virgo has some of the same energy. Um, love yourself first. Um, finding out the truth. Someone found out something, and I really do feel like this was something that um, they found out about you, um, Gemini, because you were the one that's coming up here um, especially with them coming through saying that they know that they screwed everything up. Um, this has a lot to do with the energy that I feel like is being solely tied back to Leo, Leo energy. Oh, yep. I just got the answer is simple. I'm gonna, uh oh. I'm going to tell you what you got there, but they're saying that they screwed this up with their need to want to control the narrative. They have watched you take your control back. They know they have to follow in your footsteps, but there are strong things here that keep them bound to you. At some point or another, you guys could have been engaged. You started to take your power back. They don't like that. They don't know how to do it. They're stuck. This energy I haven't read for you guys in a long time, but I have been reading that you guys are definitely picking, um, uh, dealing with a person that, um, or dealing with a relationship that you had to leave Gemini because some things were not working. The controlling narrative, though, I haven't seen in a long time, but it did come up the last time Venus was in retrograde. This is all pre um venus in retrograde energy um don't quote me fact fact checkers on the date so i'm just going to keep it general around the second week of may venus is retrograding in gemini okay so you could be this person that you have not been on good terms with and just show the f up keep that in mind gems um if this resonates with you join the contest let's find out what's going on you can either try to do the free reading with the 1111 special, which will be opening, but this particular contest ends on the 30th, and I will be uh, pulling winners and announcing them in an anniversary live party that I'm planning to have. Still trying to put that together. So, yes, that's what I'm seeing here. Um, I did pull a bonus card. And you got the card of five, turn on the light. For Virgos and Leo, and I really do feel like you are crossing with a Virgo because Virgo got some of these same cards and that person was saying the exact same thing. This could be your Virgo um, that you're crossing with, I don't know. Um, for Virgo and Leo, I'm going to um, probably drop a link underneath so... I can give you your, the answer is simple oracle card for your situation. I didn't get it for you, so I, but I, I think that this is what I'm going to do for the very end, like now. The card of five, I don't know whether you guys have five, whether that number means anything to you by itself, whether that number, you, you know, angel number, um, is there an angel? You could know, you could be seeing 55. Life path number, master number. Let me know how this number means something to you. But turn on the light. The answer is simple. So this is the answer is simple. And the answer is to turn on the light. Look to your life, look to your life with the eyes of spirit and not your ego. The ego points out your flaws. The spirit concentrates on your perfection. The ego sees everything as your failure. Your spirit sees everything as a process of progress, of progress, of progress. So although you've made some choices that you've had to look and, and learn some really heavy lessons, you still have, you can envision the future of your choosing. You don't have to allow the, the mistakes that you made in this relationship that at all be all. 
because the ego sees the darkness and the spirit sees the light. Right now, you're being asked to view your circumstances with illumination of your spirit. Don't focus on the shadows. Focus on the light. Okay? Your spirit will turn on the light and thus perceive the value of all of your experiences because this wasn't always easy. Good, bad, and indifferent, okay? With the light on, you will see the good. And honestly, I feel that you... Gemini have definitely done that with this situation. If you're at the beginning stages of it, it's not you're not done. When Venus goes retrograde, which is going to be affecting your sign, we could be again experiencing some of that pre-shadow right now. Um, what happens just like when Mercury retrogrades and a couple weeks before we start to feel wonky. This is uh, Venus retrogrades every other year. So with you... I see its lessons and you're going to have to envision a brand new future under different circumstances. And I think you've already started, but you already know going back to, this was kind of a personal reading for you too, Gemini collective, but going back to your person, they're very much, uh, much so a part of those lessons. It's going to let you know. So you're, you're being guided to turn the light on. I feel this mainly for you Geminis, although this is what they're not telling you. It all ties into that. So they're very bound to you sexually. They are. And um, when Venus goes into retrograde fully, you know, you guys could have not been talking. I don't feel like this relationship is where it needs to be, but they don't want to let you go, but it's not for the right reasons. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. So, finding out the truth crushed me. This could have been you, but um, you're being guided um, and you've already started, which is to love yourself first. And you have been in hangman energy. You are in upside down enlightenment over what to do for the future. Like, share, and with this person too. So, like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Um, they're not letting go. They don't want to let you go, but not for the right reasons, okay? Is what I'm going to call it. Like, share, subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. I certainly hope this resonated. Thank you so much, Gemini. I will see you guys um, in about four days, which I guess technically I don't want to say next week, but this week coming up, technically that is next week because we're still, yeah. Um, and we're going to do, we're going to close out the months with the you versus them readings. Um, um, so next week in that time, that short week will not be clarified. So if you're connecting with Taurus, Libra, Scorpio, Cancer and Capricorn, and yes, I've ruined it. Scorpio is winning right now um, for that fifth place. Then you will catch their videos at the end because we're going in reverse. Bye, Jim. Good luck.